Also, right now, investigators working to find out what sparked a wind-driven fire in the Delta. We just learned the flames destroyed 42 structures at the Rancho Marina RV Park near Brannon Island Road in Sacramento County. This afternoon, others are still threatened. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live there after speaking with families who lost everything. Marissa. Yeah, the fire leveling dozens of homes. The heat from the fire so hot. You can see how it melted the side of the main office building here. Meantime, hot spots keep popping up, keeping fire crews busy. They're hoping to have this contained tonight. Fueled by fierce winds that peaked at 35 miles per hour, this fire raked across this community of mobile homes at Rancho Marina. Several people used garden hoses trying to protect their homes while fire crews stood ground around the levee. For Anthony Phillips, this fire spread too quickly. He was told to stand down. The smoke got too bad. It got too hot. Couldn't breathe. This Cal Fire airdrop flying over the Delta, dropping retardant, which officials say likely saved dozens of homes here. The surrounding community told to evacuate. Anthony and his family of seven grabbed what they could and left. But one day later, he's back to learn his home of 32 years is gone. Just complete devastation. Everything's gone. This community means more to Anthony than just brick and mortar. I moved here when I was 18 months old with my grandparents. He says the people here are his family. It's going to be hard. And that's, you know, all he's ever known is that home. Everybody's families and everybody's homes, their lives are just gone. Decades of memories up in flames for at least 150 people. A devastating loss for everybody. Meanwhile, there's no water, no power here. The water treatment plant on site was destroyed in the fire. People whose homes were not burned are, not, are now being allowed in to grab essentials. Last check tonight, the fire is 60% contained. 20 structures are still threatened. Again, officials are telling us they're hoping to have full containment on the fire by this evening. But again, that's weather depend dependent and we are on the Delta, but the wind still fierce tonight. So horrible to see that destruction. All right, Marissa, thank you.